This presentation will introduce you to Royal Martin and our process for making OSB, or as we like to say, we make board. Our founder, Royal Martin Sr., bought his first sawmill in Alexandria, Louisiana in 1923, nearly 98 years ago. We've always been based right here in central Louisiana and been focused on lumber and wood products. The company has grown tremendously over 98 years, and we now have three major manufacturing facilities in both Louisiana and Texas, and employ over 1,200 people. We're the 18th largest private landowner in the United States, and the largest private landowner in the state of Louisiana. We believe in responsible management of our natural resources, and we believe in developing our people. As our current CEO, Royal Martin III likes to say, we grow trees and people. The company has always been owned by the Martin family and for many years was led exclusively by the Martin family. But in the early 2000s, we shifted to a more professionally managed operation and the company has seen explosive growth since that time. All of Royal Martin lands are FSC certified. The Forest Stewardship Council sets standards for responsible forest management. A voluntary program, FSC uses the power of the marketplace to protect forests for future generations. There is the tree. The forest where the tree grows. And the woman who cares for her land. There is the man who listens to the birds to make sure the forest is healthy. There's the scientist who tests the water. The crew who cuts the tree. And the man who makes it lumber the way his father taught him how. There are the carpenters, the designers, the companies they work for, responsibly choosing their materials. And then there are the people, like you. They play a part to keep this cycle going, to keep the forest healthy. a tree that tells this story. One simple action can have a profound impact. Look for products with the FSC logo and help protect the health of our forests for all, forever. Our land isn't just used for timber. It's also leased to hunters and the oil and gas industry, as well as some real estate ventures. Everything we do at Royal Martin is based on these core values outlined in this acrostic we call riches. R is for respect. Respect for each other as human beings uniquely created by God. I is for integrity. Integrity in what we do and say we will do regardless of the cost, legally and ethically. C is for commitment. Commitment to our business, to our employees, to our customers and to each other. H is for honesty. Honesty in our interaction with our fellow employees, our supervisors, our customers, our vendors, and our families. E is for excellence. Excellence in safety, product quality, employee training and development, and process improvements. And S is for stewardship. Stewardship of our land, timber, and plant assets.
At Royal Martin, safety is a way of life. Our mills are considered among the safest in North America. Our mission is to have a safety culture that ensures team members make it home to their families each day and continue safety practices at home. Several years ago, we initiated a program called I Believe in Zero. Zero incidents and zero accidents. Every team member is empowered to stop any process or procedure that violates our safety values. Our OSB products are produced in two separate OSB mills, one in Oakdale, Louisiana, and the other in Corrigan, Texas. Our process engineer, Landon Lohman, will now take you on a tour of our Oakdale facility and walk you through the process of how we make board. Welcome to our world-class OSB manufacturing facility located in Oakdale, Louisiana. Everything we make here starts with the log. Log trucks entering the mill are unloaded by two gantry cone cranes. These cranes have a capacity of 30 tons and one crane can unload one truckload of wood in one bite. Wood is stacked in specific zones and aged for approximately two weeks. Logs are then fed into one of three infeed decks. They then enter the debarking drum. Bark does not contain any structural properties that we need for the panels. Bark is removed from each log tumbling in a debarking drum. The logs hit one another and bark is removed. Once the bark is removed, the logs then enter the stranders. A strander is a large rotating ring with 44 knives. The logs are peeled into two inch by six inch by 30 thousandths of an inch thick strands. These strands are perfect for the quality and integrity of an OSB panel. These strands then enter green bins where they are stored until they are ready for the dryers. The dryers are large, rotating, cylindrical drums that are heated by two furnaces. The furnaces burn at 1600 degrees. The fuel that we use in the furnaces are sawdust and bark and other process material that cannot be used. The inlet of the dryers are approximately 1500 degrees and the outlet is approximately 350 degrees. The strands are dried to approximately 6% moisture. The strands are conveyed through the dryers by induced draft fans. When the strands leave the dryers, they are conveyed to the screens building. The strands must be separated by size. This will be important later in the process. Core materials will be called the smaller strands. Face material is the larger strands. Once the strands are separated by size, the core and face material are conveyed up to the dry bins where they are stored until they are ready for resin. Once the strands arrive at the blenders, the blenders apply a small amount of resin and wax to the strands. This resin is the adhesive that binds each strand to one another when it is pressed and the wax is used to repel water. Now that resin is applied to the strands, it is conveyed to the forming line where the strands are oriented onto a forming line belt. This forming line belt is where the mat is formed before it gets pressed. Large material, the face material, goes on top and bottom, and the smaller material or core material goes into the middle. Mats are cut by a saw into either 24 foot, 25 foot, or 26 foot lengths. Once the mat is cut into length, it is conveyed by a call screen. This call screen moves the mat into the loader cage before it is pressed. When the press is ready, it opens and these mats are conveyed into the press. The press is heated by thermal oil at approximately 415 degrees. 
The press is then closed by hydraulic force and the heat cures the resin that was applied earlier in the process. Once the panel is pressed to its desired thickness, the press then opens and is unloaded into a cage. What enters the press is called a mat. Once the mats are pressed, they are then called master panels. The master panels continue down the line to the saw line. The saw line cuts each master panel into specific widths and lengths, and then they are stacked. Once a certain number of panels are stacked, they are then called a unit. Units then are conveyed to the paint booth where they are painted and sealed. Once they are painted, our logo is applied, the unit is bagged, and then strapped. Forklifts are used to transport the units to either a truck or a rail car. Our product is then sold to our customers around the world. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of how logs are turned into OSB. Thanks for watching. Jobs in manufacturing have above average wages and above average benefits. In Louisiana alone, there are over 173,000 manufacturing jobs, and every one of those jobs supports at least four other jobs. In our case, there's the loggers who cut down the trees, the truck drivers who bring the logs to the mill, the truck drivers who carry our finished goods to our customers, the employees at the lumber yards who sell our products, and many others. It's easy to see the impact that manufacturing has in our economy, both nationally and locally. There's still room for you. Every year, we have team members who retire. We consistently have job openings we're trying to fill. Maybe you could be our next team member at Royal Martin. Many of our folks in key leadership positions started on the ground floor and through hard work, dedication, and growth and development, managed to work their way into prominent positions within our company. And you can too. We put our words into action with our national award-winning talent management programs. We believe when your strengths meet our opportunities, great starts can happen. Royal Martin provides some of the best employee benefits in our area. And it's because we believe our people are our number one asset. Our people are leaders in our community as well. Staying involved in our schools, our nonprofits, and our community action programs. We are committed to honoring our values as a privately held, customer-focused, ethically managed company. We intend to distinguish ourselves as the company of choice for employees, vendors, and our customers. We will acquire and manage land, timber, and mineral resources to optimize value while maintaining Forest Stewardship Council certification. Royal Martin will strive to be recognized as the industry leader in each business segment as measured by safety, customer satisfaction, environmental compliance, and profitability. We hope this presentation has given you a brief glimpse into who we are, what we do, and how we do it. Thank you for joining us.